how you guys doing? This is Coach Isaac with J5. Uh, I'm the assistant admissions director, assistant athletic director. I coach football here. Um, I help with the student volunteers, um, and and I do a bunch of things here at Jesuit. And we're gonna we're gonna find out how many things I can do. In one, day. one of the few things I've learned here at Jesuit is there's always work to be done here. Um, you know, there's there's a misconception about Jesuit, right? Like there's there's a ton of money, and we are at the root of it, a Catholic educational institution. And uh, and there's several people here on this campus that do multi, that put on multiple hats. Um, and the work needs to get done. And that's that's one that's one lesson that I learned here pretty quickly was that you know if I want to be um, a valued member here on our campus. I better learn how to do more than one thing. Yeah, you know what? I probably that that would be a personal hour for me. I would uh, I probably hug my kids. Honestly, uh, I, I spend a lot of time here, so I rarely see them. Um, great play, great thing about this place, right? There's there's so much land. There's there's so much there's so many activities to do here, and you know, Father McGarry and and all and Mike Wood and all the uh, Jesuit administrators, they do a good job of making this place family friendly. So my family gets to come and visit me at work and kind of see what I do and things like that. But this is this is almost like a second home uh, for me personally. Yeah, you know. uh, Granite Bay playoff game 2018 and and uh it, it wasn't it even it didn't have anything to do with football we uh we got off the bus and it was uh, it was probably like 35 degrees it was freezing i and i'll never forget this Granite bay was already warming up they were they were they were dressed you know they had all their pads on they had their jerseys on they had their long sleeves and their tights and their their long socks and i uh or we got off the bus and our kids were warming up in uh, tank tops and you know short sleeve shirts and shorts and flip flops and things like that. And and at that moment, I was like, oh yeah, the, these guys are not ready for what our kids are bringing right now off of this bus. So that was a that was honestly that was a that was a phenomenal feeling for me as a coach. Um, like for a lot of guys, I think that played football, especially a lot of my old teammates, it, it's going to be in the air tonight um, by Phil Collins. You know, it's it's a song that we played in our locker room. We currently play that now in our Jesuit locker room. You know, every probably every uh, every football locker room in the United States plays it. So um, that turns me that always transports me back to a time when. You know, I was a player and I got to hang out with my friends every day and, you know, just, you know, just, just being part of my brotherhood, our brotherhood um, as a football team. Like that's, that's one of my cherished memories as a, as a football player. It wasn't an age, it was, it was a moment. It was, I was in the delivery room my daughter was coming out, you know, holding my daughter for the cutting the umbilical cord. And, you know, that's when, you know, all of it, literally every, every, every wire in your brain changes to, oh, I got to make better choices. I got to, you know, I got to eat better. I got, you know, I, what do I got to do about money? Like, I got I to gotta start saving money. I got to, you know, oh, I got to get a better job, things like that. So, um that that moment um you know and that can happen at any age i think personally what's up v yeah that that moment at that moment uh was really the yeah i, sh I should probably curl up and <laughs> stop messing around here i'm a sweet tooth guy rick's dessert diner i i, I always recommend it i remember when it was in the little when the in the little like 
five, it, it was probably the size of this gator, um, and the line was already out the door. Um, they moved into a new spot across the street from Chicago Fire, which would be my other uh, go-to restaurant. And uh, you know, I always know what I'm gonna order before I even walk in there. Um, but Rick's Dessert Diner, I love, I love that place. Honestly, I, I try to take as many of my family members there as possible. Whatnot. The one thing that I love about these kids is that, you know, they're at this age, right, all kids are learning to be themselves, but on top of that, our kids are learning about themselves and defining their definition of success, right? So um, one thing I like about them, oh, there they are. One thing I like about those guys is that uh, their definition of success vary. You know, whether it's, you know, the college of their dreams or, you know, religious service, military service, whatever it is. So um, that's one thing I like about getting from the kids. There's not a linear path to success. There's many avenues and things like that. And, uh, you know, success is more than, you know, just money and prestige and jobs. It's, it's happiness. And uh, I think these kids do a good job of chasing that for sure.